Hi, my name's Tracy with Farm Alarm. Thanks for tuning in today. As you guys seen in our last video, we had Uncle Charles come up with his track loader and he actually took out a tremendous amount of trees in this back field and basically doubled our field size um, here on what we call our back 40. So we have a grassy field area and we've got a bunch of trees behind us. So we had him push back that tree line and now we'll have to sow all of that new dirt into some grass. And uh, speaking of grass, so what we're doing on today's video is what we have in grass already in this upper field here, we're actually going to burn that off. And if you're not really sure about why you would burn it off, well fire purges and it makes way for new. There's a lot of nutrition from them ashes that are in the dead grass and it just gets rid of all of the old uh, nasty, uh, nasty dead grass that's laying underneath. And uh, kind of like if you were to dethatch your yard before you uh, mow it every season so uh, stay tuned and we'll even talk more about why you should burn your field off so what i'm doing right now is actually making what's called a fire line because i don't need it I'm burning all the way over here to this this brush that's on this hillside uh, because I actually do like that to grow up during the summer and it gives me a little bit of a barrier uh, from road noise and just kind of a uh, little privacy here also from the highway so people don't really see what we got going on back in here. It's a very calm day on the wind today but I'm just going to burn this out a little bit and you know stop the fire once it tries to get over here a little closer to the road and uh, eventually it'll just spread out through this field. Well, we got the field burned off so let's real quick before we go I want to talk about uh, three or four reasons why we burn a field um, in more detail and why you should probably uh, look into burning your fields as well one reason why you would want to uh, burn off your field is that it's going to uh, kill off any pest such as parasites or ticks and that fire will actually purge all of those eggs that may be on that grass um, another good reason why we do it is because if there's any seeds that are on the ground um, such as uh, you know your grass seed, anything like that that's overwintered, um, that fire can actually crack that seed open and will help that uh, germinate. And uh, to also help that germinate is whenever the uh, ash from all of the uh, the dead plant material is actually burned up, that will actually become a nutrient and a fertilizer for those seeds to uh, grow into the new plants. And then, like we spoke earlier in the video, was to also get rid of all the uh, the dead plant material that is actually on the ground. So all of this will help uh, the new grass grow and if you've ever seen any kind of a, a wildfire, uh, what comes out of that wildfire is just beauty and um, you know just like driving up and down the highway if you see a grass fire two weeks later the grass that grows from that black material is super green and it is just awesome and that's all because of that uh, nutrients from that that's been fertilized. Uh, from all that ash. So we do appreciate you watching, um, especially this series that we're on, this new adventure, uh, which is getting sheep. And, and that's the whole reason why we've done that. And if you haven't seen any of those videos, uh, we'll actually leave a playlist right up here. So the next step is we're going to put up our premier fence, our premier one electric fence um, that, we, that we just got in. If you haven't seen that video, uh, when the ups man drop that off, we'll leave that right there again. So uh, we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, I'm ready to